This is not going to be easy. We went down 3-0 in the ALCS to the Baltimore Orioles and managed to win game four. We're not going to be swept. But we now have to win three more games. But we can't win them all at once. If we can just take care of business today, we at least get to go back home where Joe Michael will pitch again. And we're going with a completely different lineup today with Zach Geloff, Miguel Vargas, and Yusniel Cruz as our top three hitters. I enjoy a good challenge. We sure have one here. Down 3-0 in the ALCS. I'm not going to tell you that I think that we're for sure going to go and win this series, but I do enjoy trying to put together a comeback. And one thing I cannot get out of my head. What if the offense turns around to play the way they're capable of? It's been a disappointing series, but maybe that could change. Maybe our pitching falls apart and we lose a game 9-8. to eight. I can accept that. But I really want to see our offense have at least one game where they resemble who they can be when they're actually decent. So is D.L. Hall the pitcher we can finally right the ship against. He has a 1.7 whip, a 5.8 ERA this season. He's 4-16. So why not here in Game 5, everybody? Welcome in. If we fail this, we're going to be on to the offseason and getting ready for Year 7. And the team could be shaken up a little bit. There's likely going to be some change after this year. And regardless, if we continue, if it ends here, I'm excited for the future with this team because I know we have a young core that is only getting better. Zach Geloff. Hit by D.L. Hall on the 0-2 slider. Vladimir Guerrero, Trey Sweeney, and Aaron Don all find themselves on the bench here in Game 5. They have not... Done great in the postseason. Guerrero's hit a bunch of singles, but about as many double plays at the same time. And I don't think he has an extra base hit. So, I don't want him killing any more rallies for us. Two and two. In there. Strike three. He gets Vargas. Strikeouts haven't been the biggest problem for us in this series. And one guy who is certainly due for a big hit is Yusniel Cruz. He's not had a great ALCS. Couple strikes in here from D.L. Hall on the outer corner. Don't want to mess with those. But now one and two. A drive to left center field. A rocket that finds the gap. And Geloff will be waved home and he will score. 1-0 Oakland here in the first. Right down the middle. Good swing there for Cruz. And now Fran Mil Reyes, who's also been pretty ice cold here in the ALCS. Still have him in the cleanup role because I don't know who else to put here against the lefty. Well, I suppose there is one guy, Dylan Carlson, who is set to hit after him. 1-1. One and one. That's off the plate. So now, in four of the five games, we've managed to score first. Can we add on a bit more in this one? Three and one to Fran Mil Reyes. That one is in on the outside corner. We'll let that go. Got him with a fastball just off the corner. Two strikeouts for D.L. Hall as he hopes to strand Cruz at second. But here is perhaps our best playoff performer from the two years we've made it. Dylan Carlson. Three homers this year. 278. A lot of extra base hits. A chance with two gone. Ground ball to third base. And Carlson is retired, but we do strike early. And we'll see if we can get the start we're hoping for out of Logan Gilbert. Last time we saw him, he went six shutout innings. And the first pitch upon taking him out was a home run that tied the game. So hopefully he can pitch the way he did in his previous start and give us a trip back home. 
Jordan Westberg hits a ground ball. It's Royce Lewis unable to make the play at short. And Westberg is aboard. Getting an extra righty in the lineup means that Lewis plays over Sweeney. And Sweeney is a really good defender. So Tyler O'Neill next. For Gilbert, a lot of times it's escaping those early innings without damage. There's a slider for strike two. Good splitter strike three on O'Neill. That's a pitch we definitely want to get going early on. Jackson Holiday is next. Line drive, and Geloff spears it for the out. And Jake Fraley's had a couple big homers in this series already. Two outs and a curveball low. If we can get out of the first cleanly, I like the chances of Gilbert settling in. Oh, he hung the splitter that time, and it's thankfully foul. The one, two. Got him fishing outside. Good start. I don't know what it is exactly, but if I'm playing Madden and I'm down a couple scores in the second half, or if I'm playing baseball and I've got to get a few runs late in the game, like I really enjoy trying to make a comeback happen. Going down 3-0 here in a series is definitely a new challenge. Luis Arise is playing because he's just too good to keep out of the lineup, but he is down on a couple pitches. A strike in here at 98, and the count is even. One of the get Cabrera out here again over Don. And he lines this one right at second. And then you've got the struggling Tyler Soderstrom, who is not going to come out of the lineup really for anything other than a uh, significant injury. But now I have him batting eighth. That's the ball. One, ball. One of only two lefties we have in our starting lineup today. That's late. He sends it out to center, but it's playable. And that wraps up the top half of the second. A sinker by Ramos to start the bottom of the second. And Gilbert gets him looking. That's going to be a play for Cabrera towards the seats and can't make the catch. Nasty stuff there. Should have saved that for a strike two pitch. But now ahead of Andy Rodriguez, and he's gone on strikes. Held back on the 12-6. Thought he went around there. 2-1 on Blake Sable, and that's a good fastball. Pitch 27, strike three, swinging for Sable. And that wraps up the second. You know, you'd feel like there can only be so many pitchers duels here in the postseason. Eventually, one of these games would uh, shoot out a little bit, but so far, looking like more of the same. Royce Lewis leads off the third against D.L. Hall. What a disappointing season he's had, but that could change. He's in with a single. He is a stolen base threat. Not going yet. And now it's going to be a ground ball double play. Backing him off, it's a 3-2 and two count to Vargas. Battling with two down. And he lifts this one deep and foul. And that is a cold ball four. Strike zone's been iffy throughout the series. So we got a second base runner in the inning. And now you Sneal Cruz gets a chance. Now he tries right field. That didn't sound quite right. And the inning is over. 
Dylan Beavers, bottom three, takes inside. Count now full to the leadoff man. Pitch 33. Got him out in front. Seven outs. Six strikeouts to this point for Logan Gilbert. And oftentimes with these higher strikeout games, we end up with high pitch counts and like five inning outings, but he's done a really good job here. It's only 35 pitches so far. Swing and a miss from Mayo. Pitching from behind though, count now three and one. And it's upstairs, ball four. Hammered foul, Jordan Westberg now behind one and two. Going low, held back. Takes the curve and another 3-2 count. O'Neal on deck, got him looking. Throwing a few more pitches here in the third and now trying to get O'Neal. There's a first pitch strike. Two and two on O'Neal. And he lifts this one for Cruz in center. Playable. And we're through three. Just trying to earn that trip back home to get Joe Michael one more postseason start. I'd feel better if we could break through this one or two run deal we've had lately. And Reyes is aboard with a base hit. Carlson grounds it to third and it's thrown away. Reyes to third. He's in safely. And an error creates a threat for Oakland. Could have been two outs instead. Two on. Luis, arise. Big at bat here for D.L. Hall. Being lefty lefty, I want to try being a bit more selective. Got away with a bad first pitch swing last at bat. See, that's the one to, to go after, clearly. Grounder and foul up the first baseline. Two and two. On the ground, backhand, while Reyes stayed put. We get nothing and it's a double play. The double play that should have happened in the previous at bat. Yeah, if we go home there, they're definitely gonna nail him at the plate. Another threat possibly wasted. Inside, it's two and one. Count goes even. Lifted deep and foul. We've had a couple down that left field line. And eclipsed the outside edge. Not a good sequence there. We got to make him pay for an error. You can't let him get away with leadoff walks, errors. Those are the things you got to take advantage of. It's still just one to nothing Oakland. Not seeing anything different really in this game. Two and two to Jackson Holiday, and he takes low. Count now full. Strikeouts not coming quite as easily for Logan. The three two is in there, and he waves at it. Strike three. Eight Ks for Logan Gilbert. Rayleigh falling behind, one and two. Been liking his slider today, even against lefties. Did he go? He does! Strikeout number nine. And Cruz should be able to get to this one. Four incredible innings for Logan Gilbert. Another one deep to center from Soderstrom. And run down, out number one. Working a 3-1 count here with Royce Lewis. And it's ball four. 
Geloff, two for three in that last game, did a good job giving the offense a spark. Gets the slider and sends it to right, but that's what we've been doing on a lot of these elevated pitches, just getting way too far underneath them. They're really paying a lot of attention to Royce Lewis. We've seen a pickoff, a pitch out, and two slide step deliveries that were just basically pitch outs. So 2-0 on Vargas. He sends this to left center. And Lewis will sprint on to third and hold up there. First and third again for Oakland. Well, we got you, Sneel Cruz, another chance. He's driven in our only run of the day. Tries to do it again, but wide of third. Inside from Hall. Got to think this is probably his last inning. And it's three and one. Reyes on deck. Hall looking for a strike. Or a pickoff to get him out of the inning. Not planning on giving that to him. Why would I steal here with Vargas? Three and one. In the air, right field. Just missed it again. Hitting too many to right with Cruz. When we pull the ball with him, we're so much better. 64 pitches for Gilbert. As he gets two strikes on Indy Rodriguez. Pitching at a really good pace, but I don't often go to the high pitch counts with him. And here in a one nothing game, I might be hesitant again. I remember pulling him in the last start because it was such a slim lead. I didn't want him pitching, you know, too deep. Once we get to 70, 80 pitches, that's what I'm looking for. The at-bats have been getting tougher. Gilbert can't stop it, and it finds its way through. Leadoff man on for Baltimore. Their second hit. Bottom of the order trying to get him on the board. Ground ball. Lewis to second. Double play. Huge double play for Gilbert. Now Beavers lines one to left field. And he wants second. Cabrera. Maybe in a couple years. That's how big the double play was. Now Kobe Mayo. Gilbert has not gotten ahead of batters as easily as he did the first couple innings. Fastball ends up over the middle for strike two. Two and two. Low and it's full. Here we go. Outside, ball four. I think it's time for a visit. Does he have one more in him? Fastball hasn't gotten the job done lately. Two on, two outs, ball one. And not even close. Ground ball, base hit center field. And the Orioles tie the game at one. Breaking through in the fifth inning. And now two on for O'Neal. We do our second mound visit. That means we've got to replace him. Ashby not quite ready. So I, I'm going to go with Andre Palante here. This is a big spot for him. O'Neal's had his share of big hits in this series. And it's on the ground. A lucky break. It ends the inning. That was not a good pitch. And the game is tied as we head into the sixth. That one run has not been enough in any of these games. Jordan Yamamoto comes out for the O's. Feels like if we don't get a home run, it's really hard for us to score runs. And that is drilled to left field. Ray is back. It is caught. 
Is that the fence they push back here in this stadium? Unbelievable. Carlson right center field. Not going to get out, but it will be extra bases. And he's going to three. Carlson. No. The perfect relay for Baltimore. Yamamoto's giving up almost 750 feet worth of fly balls, and there's two gone here in the sixth. Maybe more, like 800 feet for two outs. I really thought he was going to get there, though. I thought that was a decent attempt. Of course, two throws that were both perfect. Arise draws the two out walk. Lifted to right field, down the line, and foul. Lifted to center this time, and playable. A lot of noise in the inning, no runs for Oakland. And now the bullpen's got to get figured out. Big 12-6 from Palante. That's what he's all about. Two strikes on Holiday, and it bounces into the chest protector. Full count now. Holiday leading off the sixth, and pops up. Royce Lewis is there for the catch. By him at 96, and Palante needs one more strike. Two and two. Ramos on the ground. Not a clean play, but recovering in time is a rise. On to the seventh we go. Soderstrom and then probably pinch hit. I've waited this long because I wasn't sure if they'd bring in a lefty. So now, if Yamamoto stays in... We'll make sure it's Soderstrom and Sweeney. On the ground and through. Base hit Soderstrom. And it's been a quiet postseason for this guy. Trey Sweeney. 107 with a 310 OPS. That's just not normal for him. Coming off the bench in a tie ball game. Good slider in for strike two from Yamamoto. And it's up the middle right at the shortstop. And that's a double play. Excellent two strike curveball there. And that takes care of Soderstrom's single. How many double plays have we hit into in this postseason? It's getting ridiculous. Wow, missed that one. Man, I swear this offense could probably find a way to ground into multiple double plays in the same inning. They'd find a way. Strike three on Gela. And we're going to Aaron Ashby for the seventh time in this postseason. And somehow he's given up a 300-plus average to lefties. Bottom of the seventh, Andy Rodriguez leads off. He's a righty, and then it's going to be a pair of lefties. So obviously I'm counting on Ashby to reverse the recent trend. Ashby, two and two, way upstairs. A full count, and a fly ball at Carlson. One down. Got to reverse this trend now against the lefty bats. Why have they done so well against him? Ground ball at Sweeney. Gathers and fires on to first, not in time. Yeah, I, I forgot challenges were even in this game. A couple of years ago when they introduced them, there'd be like a play to challenge all the time. Now, that might be the first or second time I've even been prompted. Yeah, he's out. So two gone for Aaron Ashby. Looking for a 1-2-3 inning. 
Don't have everybody available, though. I don't think I can pitch Morgan in this game at half energy. I got a couple guys who haven't pitched much here in the postseason that might have to finish this game. Strike three! Vargas again hammers it foul. Got him with a slider. You steal Cruz up for the fourth time today. And he taps it back to the pitcher. And Yamamoto gets him. Ahead of that one, it looks like. Really trying to do something with this slider, and we can't. Two down for Reyes. He'll try center field, but is under it. And that is a 1-2-3 top half of the eighth. Bottom eight, here we go. Ashby could stay in. It's all righties. I think I want two more batters for him. Kobe Mayo, the nine hitter, takes low on the sinker. Ooh. Yeah, we're not getting the edges called consistently with this umpiring crew. Full count. I haven't thrown on this one in this at bat. Full count. Grounded to Geloff. Cold blooded pitch there for Aaron Ashby. Westberg now, and O'Neal next. I don't want Ashby to face O'Neal. And what I end up doing if we get through this could, could be risky. But sometimes you run out of pitching options and you've got to put a guy in there. You're uncomfortable pitching. It's Vargas. Good throw. Ashby does his job, and we're looking for Kendrick Haynes to get the last out. I don't know if he'll pitch more than one batter. He's had one inning. It didn't go well. And I think I've about run out of like patience for his game. 0 for 3, Tyler O'Neal. Right down the middle and fouled back. Not a bad cutter there, but that's not getting the call with this umpire. Just outside. Got him out in front that time. It's even. Haynes 2-2. Two -two. Popped up for Soderstrom. That wraps up the eighth as the score holds at one apiece. Come on, man. We got to score more than one run in nine innings. This is getting uh, to be way too much. Dylan Carlson with a double. That was not hit well enough for a triple. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble adjusting to Yamamoto being like 10 miles per hour slower than everybody else. Carlson has a homer in two consecutive games. One, two. Got him with a slider. That's been his pitch. Arise, hooks one to right, and it's foul. All right, now we're late. Splitting the difference here has proven to be a challenge. Not impossible as it's grounded to second for a weak ground out. And it's Miguel Cabrera, our last chance here in the regulation nine innings. Fouled back. Base hit left field. Not having too many one, two, three innings. Putting up a fight, kind of. And that means Soderstrom, who is still homerless in the postseason, gets a chance. 2-0. Line to left, and that is caught. 
We go bottom nine as the Orioles look to walk us off and advance to the World Series. And being our seasons on the line, we're going with Penn Murphy. Facing the three, four, five hitters. Strike three on Holiday. Pitching to Jake Fraley now. Two and one. Grounded at Trey Sweeney. Two down. And Elliot Ramos. Lifted for Cruz. And I'm not saying we deserve it, but we do have a chance to hit for a 10th inning tonight. Now, there is no extra inning runner in postseason extra innings. We've still got to earn the run the old-fashioned way. Jordan Yamamoto continues on. Great outing for him. Inside, Yamamoto... Still has some energy left. Falling behind the leadoff man. And it's jammed to short. Got him by a step. Got a 3-1 count here with Zach Geloff. Lied to center. Just a tick late. Popped up. I've been trying to adjust to his stuff, and I went from, like, everything early to everything late. Like, 90 is sometimes the toughest velocity for me to find a way to hit. Especially on a guy who throws so much off speed. Henry Vasquez is coming in to save the season, everybody. He's had one outing, and it didn't go well whatsoever. But I want a righty in, and he's the only righty we really have now. Murphy got us through the ninth. He wasn't fresh. Vasquez is very fresh. Sweeney going to be tough. He fires over the head of a rise. Backed up by Soderstrom. It's a hit. Could they look to sacrifice Bunt? They will. And it's foul. He offered at strike two. Wow, he swung at that. And it's a double play. Cruz has to race in and puts away the last out of the 10th. And he ran all the way to home plate for his at bat here to lead off the 11th. What a game. Right center, that's down, and it gets by the right fielder, and by the center fielder. Cruz to third to lead off the 11th. He's done it again. Our biggest hit of the day, and now our second biggest hit. Couldn't pull it, but at least found the right spot. We gotta get him home now from third base. Here is Fran Mil Reyes. Hammer to left! It's gone! Reyes delivers deep into game five as we take a 3-1 lead. Finally! Yamamoto's done great, and I think he's Pitched more innings than the starter did. But perhaps this was one inning too long. Now they bring in the lefty Ferguson. They're giving us a 93% chance of winning this game. I don't think it's quite that high in my opinion. I don't have Penn Murphy to throw out there. I have, you know, Vasquez who's already in. And has the better matchup probably for this inning. Ah, oh, man. I haven't pitched Montez at all. Griggs. Who do you trust with the game on the line to, to end it? Is the tough part here. I'm going to warm up. Uh, he's already warm. I think it's going to be Henry Vasquez, the rookie of the year runner-up. Ooh. 
See, that's just late again. I know it says good, but that's really just late. A blast! Foul from Cabrera. And strike three looking. I have a hard time sometimes with his strike zone. But we do get two. And now we'll find out if we're headed back home. Henry Vasquez. A big reason why we had the success we did this year. He picked up the slack when Logan Gilbert got hurt. Pitched at a really high level. And if it weren't for a historic week from Eusneel Cruz, he'd be the rookie of the year. We're looking for one more good inning. Nine hitting Kobe Mayo is behind 1-2. Vasquez missing. His count has run full. To right field. Carlson. No, can't get there. Lead off single. Jordan Westberg and the top of the lineup now for Baltimore. Ball one. Grounded. Vargas picks it. Out at second. Double play. Another great defensive stop from Miguel Vargas. And we're one out away here in game five. Lifted to left. And Joe Michael will be waiting for Baltimore in game six. Still not the game we've been waiting for. But they haven't finished us off quite yet. The A's win, and we'll play six at the least. Henry Vasquez giving us two shutout innings. That's huge. The pitching has been fantastic. And the hitting not. But eventually, we'll run into a big hit here or there. We've clawed our way back with two wins, and now we get to go back home. We get the Cy Young winner in game six. Anything can happen now. One thing here. Joe Michael is not 100%. He's probably 85-90. So we also have the option of pitching Waldachuk here. And saving Michael for a possible game 7. But we don't know if that game's going to happen. Maybe you lead with Waldachuk. But have Michael available if the game requires him. Thank you all for watching today's video. I'll be back again shortly as we get to game six, but also I'm looking to start a new series over on Madden here this week as well. It just looks like this season ain't done yet. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you next time in game six.